Hey guys, so this is such an informal video, but I showed this palette on my channel. This is the beautiful Nocturnal palette by um, Glaminatrix Cosmetics, and I talked about how my shades arrived shattered, but I did press them back in so they don't look so bad now. I'll probably put a picture in of how the palette looked prior, there we go, <laughs> prior to um, me kind of just pressing the shades in. But these shades are magnetized, so I just wanna kind of go ahead and show like how I popped the shades out or if you ever wanted to do this, you know, with anything else that you had. Um, so I have right here a magnet and I purchased this magnet from um, Amazon. I just put in magnets. Now this one is pretty strong, so you do have to be careful. And then the other thing I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna have a piece of parchment paper right here just so I can get the shades out, cover them up, and I don't, you know, wanna make a too big of a mess. I have a paper towel underneath here. So these are the replacement shades and I really like this palette. At first I was like, oh, I didn't know about the shimmers, but I wore it to work and I had it on for like, I put it on and then I came home and I was packing for a trip and you know how it is. It's like, you don't even go to sleep before you pack for these trips and the shimmers held up beautifully. So uh, Glaminatia, she resent me the shimmers and everything. So I'm going to pop them in and they are just regular magnetic shimmers you know kind of like you're used to having single shadows so there we go and i'm going to take the first one and i'm going to take that one out of here we're going to clean this palette up so like i said i got my little parchment paper just gonna lay it down and carefully with the magnet because like i said it's strong i don't want to disrupt any of the other shadows but i kind of want to show you how to do this if you're thinking about depotting some other shadows so I'm gonna put the magnet somewhat on the shadow. So you see, you heard it pop up. I'm gonna pull the paper back so that's what it's looking like. So just that simple, okay? So that's the shadow that was broken. Let's see, I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take them all out first because I kind of want to clean this up because I don't like my palettes to be messy. Y'all know me. I don't really do too messy with the palette. So I'm gonna pop out all the shimmers first and then we'll put in the fresh ones. Okay, and then I'll clean it up. I'll show you what I do. So the only shimmer she didn't send me was the shade, let's see, Luna, which is the blue, more dual chrome shade because that one, I'm like, I can't figure out what the camera, sorry guys, because this one was actually okay. Did not come broken. So this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna like gently kind of tap it here. You see some shadow falling out on the what's the name. And now I'm going to kind of think strategically about how I'm going to get this out. <laughs> so I'm, I know I'm probably going to take some cotton and I'm going to grab some water, maybe a little alcohol and go from there. All right. So I grabbed some tools and I got a little alcohol. This is just regular isopropyl alcohol. I have a little uh, bioderma right here. So... And then I grabbed some counting rounds and apparently I just had one lonely Q-tip left in the box. So that, that was interesting. So I guess when I go to work, since I have my retail pharmacist, oh crap, some stuff, <laughs> some more Q-tips. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start cleaning up the palette. So when we put the new shadows in, it's going to look good, you know? And this black one, I have to be careful because I keep thinking it's empty, but that's a black shadow. So it was like I almost just grazed it. So need to be careful. right 
right now I just have actually the Bioderma on the Q-tip. I don't have anything else on there. Okay, so that looks so much better. This is what we're looking like right now. And now I'm going to go ahead and start popping in the shadows. So we have the first shadow, which is the bronze one, which is Constellation. <laughs> okay. That wasn't my intent, but you know. That, that was my intent and we're good to go. Very easy. Next shade we have is Dusk. Now we got Night Vision. And last but not least, we have Milky Way. Boom. That was very, very easy. Not a lot of work. Of course, we don't want our palettes to come broken, but this is how I went ahead and repaired mine. So if you were wondering how to do it, if you had to be in the same predicament or, you know, maybe you want to be creative. Maybe you want to keep a couple shades from certain palettes, but you weren't sure how to depot the shades. So you can use this method as long as, you know, the palette is magnetic. Um, if the palette is not magnetic, it's going to be a lot harder to um, pop the shades out. But most of the palettes tend to be magnetic nowadays. So there you go. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, a little helpful. I'm going to uh, wipe off this part because I forgot when I put the shadow down on the paper towel that I had to lay the palette back down. I was like, why is it so much shadow on this palette? <laughs> so, and this is just the little cotton with the micellar water. So I'm going to clean that right on off. So hope you guys enjoyed this and she's looking good as new now. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.